Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a boot comparison between Ubuntu 14.04 and Windows 8. Now I'm going to be using a Samsung 840 Evo 120GB uh, SSD. Now the reason I am doing this video is because I recently got gifted an Asus laptop, an Asus G750JX. And with it, I thought it would be suitable to get an SSD so that things can run faster. So here we have the new Samsung SSD 840. This is still in the box. Now I'm not sure how this will compare to my Cross Air Force LS3 as this one is on a different uh, controller and has a different lithography size. It is meant to be more power efficient because it's on a 19 nanometer die according to Samsung's page. Alright, this is the beauty right here. It's a lot smaller than my Corsair, F well no, it's not really smaller, but it does feel like it's smaller than my Corsair Force LS3, at least in terms of height. So we take it out. So as you can see, it's a very small thing, it's 2.5 inch. I believe all SSDs are 2.5 inch, as that's the standard. Very thin. So besides the SSD, there is also a couple of other things that come in the package. They are the installation guide, two cool stickers, Samsung SSD, one which I later plopped onto my laptop, and then there is a warranty and a disk that contains an, a manual and I don't think anything else is on there, so it's not really important. Alright, so first off, this test is going to be split into basically two parts. The first part, we're going to have Ubuntu 14.04 and Windows 8 as fresh installs on the SSD. That means no updates, no connection to the internet, no drivers, no applications installed. Then the second test is going to be after updating each OS to the latest updates that they can be updated to and installing the graphics driver. So the first test, we have the boot up times, fresh installs. So Ubuntu 14.04 64-bit is the first one up. Starting it up. This is running on the Samsung Evo 840. It's taking quite a while on a fresh install. The Corsair Force LS3 runs faster than this. So we're seeing about 18.6 seconds to the time it took to boot up just now. So now we're going to be trying Windows 8. Fresh install again, no GPU drivers. Straight to desktop, I had to script that in. Okay, 6.8 seconds. So, there is quite a big difference for the boot up times when it comes to the Samsung Evo 840 with Ubuntu 14.04. No matter how I tried, I'd always get 17 to 18 seconds for Ubuntu 14.04, while Windows 8 for the fresh install was always 6.8 to 7 seconds. Alright, now moving on to the shutdown part. This is going to be very fast. So first up is Ubuntu 14.04, and we have a 4.5 shutdown time, fresh install, very fast. It's now going to shut down for Windows 8. And we have a 4.4 second shutdown time. So basically they are indifferent in this regard. So shutdown time for Ubuntu 14.04 and Windows 8 are indifferent on the Samsung Evo 840 on a fresh install. Now we move on to part 2 of the test. For well, systems updated and drivers installed for the graphics. First up Ubuntu 14.04. Starting it up. And we are looking to have about 12.6 seconds to boot up. An improvement over the previous 18.6. So now let's check out Windows 8 boot up time after the update and graphics drivers installed. You'll see that's a different day now because it took me that long to try and get Windows 8 to update. It kept breaking down. So frustrating. So we have about 10.6 seconds on boot up for Windows 8 straight to the desktop. So this is a regression. So as you can see, Ubuntu improves by 6 seconds after it updates and has the drivers installed, whilst Windows 8 regresses by 4 seconds after it's updated and drivers are installed. So now we move on to the final part of the test, which is shutdown for both systems after they have been updated with the graphics drivers installed. 
First up is Ubuntu 14.04 and we have about 5.3 seconds to shut down. Still pretty fast, barely seconds difference between the four. Now the shutdown for Windows 8 with updated with the system being updated and the drivers installed. And we have about looking to be 5.2 seconds to shut down. So relatively they are the same, basically both within the five second range indifferent for shutdown. So this is the same case as before updating. So the conclusion that we can come to is that before updating there is practically a large difference between boot times. 11 seconds to Windows 8 advantage compared to after updating where there's practically a two second difference which is negligible. You don't, you won't feel it, you won't notice it when booting up either systems. So that's basically it for this test guys. And I will end this on a small rant. But basically, I had quite a few troubles with Windows 8 in this regard. First off being that Microsoft made it pretty hard for me to reinstate my license and I almost wanted to go ahead and pirate it as they do not provide Windows 8 single language users with reinstall media. Now they want you and they prefer you to use the recovery part of your drives on the system. But of course, this is not suitable when you have an SSD and a hard drive. You want to wipe the drives clean and you want to keep as much space as possible to be utilized. The second part that I had issues with Windows 8 was coming to the second part of the test where we update the systems. Windows 8 initially broke itself through its own updates uh, with the error failure to configure Windows updates and it stayed on there and I had to wait overnight for it to fix itself. After which it returned back to its original state without any updates installed and then I had to manually install the updates one by one out of 98 different updates. So that took quite a while. For the Ubuntu side it only took me about an hour to set everything up and test everything from no updates and no drivers to updated and driver uh, installs. Only one hour for Ubuntu side. The tests were consistent on the Ubuntu side, albeit the boot time was longer and the shut time was pretty fast. The Windows side did not provide a consistent boot time for me, which is very frustrating. The boot times would change quite significantly. There would be times when it's very fast and then suddenly when it takes very long. Same with the shutdown, there was one case uh, in this part of the video I'll show you. It took me, I think, two to three minutes before it would shut down. I had no idea what it's doing. It just gave me a black screen and would refuse to shut down. After the recording, I even held down the shutdown button and it would not shut down, which is pretty bad. So Windows 8 is not really a consistent piece of software after you update it. The fresh install is a really nice feeling, but then once you actually start to use it, it becomes problem problematic. So that's pretty much it for this video. I tried to give each side as fair as possible turn. I redid the tests on both systems multiple times and I'm giving you the best results that each system could give me. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching and please leave a comment down below if you have anything to say. Hopefully I'll read it and reply if I can. So thanks for watching guys.